Hi, I'm Andy Kinsella, and I'm the writer and director of Popcorn. And I'm uh, James Thompson, and I'm the producer of Popcorn. Well done. That's a good start. Okay, right. we've done well there. <laughs> now, Popcorn was uh, a feature film script that I wrote about five or six years ago. I'm going to say six, maybe even longer. Quite a long time yeah. ago, anyway. So, um, and then there was a British film called Popcorn made a few years back. So, obviously, it kind of got put to one side. And we sort of uh, forgot about it. But then when we were looking for ideas, after we made a few short films, we thought, actually, that might work as a sitcom. So we kind of took the, f took the script, dusted it down, completely rewrote it, as a, it in terms of making it into a half-hour sitcom and sort of see where it went from there. And then got a lot of good feedback and then thought, well, why not? We might as well make it ourselves. Um, so we sort of shoot it as a low-budget sort of sitcom pilot and then just... That's it, take it from there, see see how it goes. What's your first memories of popcorn? Do you remember me ever talking about it or Oh several times, yeah. You you originally wanted to um, do it as a as a film and um but then after we'd done short films we'd gone to a college together. Um you decided that you could um make it into a shorter shorter version. Shorten it down, take all the rubbish out, because there was yeah, a lot no, of no, rubbish, no. a lot of no, rubbish in it. <laughs> I'm not sure if you read the original script because there was a lot of rubbish in it. But yeah, um, I think once we got it down to something that we were quite uh, happy with, you know, a half hour sort of format, then it was it was literally a case of, well, it wasn't really a case of getting rid of all the rubbish, but because the script, as it, as it exists as a sitcom thing, there's nothing in it at all from the original. Right. Not any right. at all. The character's pretty much the same. Even the characters, one or two names have changed, but nothing in it at all. I think it's one line that's the same, really, so... That's quite amazing from a 90 minute script to go from, answer. you know, to 30 minutes and not yeah, keep right. anything. Popcorn is, it's about um, a group of sort of film geeks that work in an independent cinema, the lovely Plaza, which we're sat in at the moment, and we'll talk a little bit about that a bit later. So it's about a bunch of film geeks and sort of what they get up to at work. But on a deeper level, it's sort of more about, you know, friendships and relationships and, and um how you interact with people that you work with, because most people spend more time with the people that they work with than they do with you know family and friends. It's that sort of a ridiculous dynamic where you're always with these people. So it's just interesting to see how these characters react. And also, obviously, the first episode starts with Lizzie, introduction of a new character. So it's how people will react to a new person coming into a sort of already established group as well. Uh, Jim is the main character of the sitcom. He's your protagonist, if you will. He's the guy who the, the, the sort of show revolves around. And Jim's the kind of sort of, you know, every man. He, he's, everyone's got a bit of Jim in them. He's a big geek, but, you know, he loves his Star Wars. He loves his Lord of the Rings. Um, he loves his sci-fi. He loves all this stuff. But he's also the kind of guy, you know, he's the kind of guy you're going to root for because, like I say, everyone's got a bit of Jim inside us. So uh, what do you think about the character, Jim? Anything to add about that? No, I thought <laughs> <laughs> yes, this will get cut. James has nothing to say about Jim officially. Jim doesn't exist as far as James goes. Okay. okay, so Tony Eccles plays Jim. Uh, Tony is someone um, that we saw quite, I think, quite early on in the audition process and someone that straight away we thought would be ideal for the role of Jim because um, he'll even admit himself, he is very similar to the character. You know, he's a big Star Wars fan and... Um, I think is one of the people that he was he was so sort of dedicated he knew the script inside and out when we first auditioned him really he liked it yeah, that much upset, yeah and he was he was just really good and um yeah so he was the one we were just so impressed when we first auditioned with him that really it was hard to ever see anyone else playing that character once we'd met tony um but not only that sort of as a person he's a you know really nice guy dead easy to get on with and just the kind of person we've had quite a few setbacks with this sort of project and Tony was always the one, you know, was always really sort of enthusiastic and, you know, he helped every, push everything forward, really, and just kept, um, you know, kept us going. So, yeah, a lot of good things to say about no, Tony no, Eccles. No, Anything no. else to say about no, Tony no, Eccles? <laughs> <laughs> so Lizzie is the new girl. She's, uh, you know, just, it's, her, it's all set on her first day. She's just starting. She comes in, she gets introduced by the boss, Charlie, and then she's thrown into this world of Star Wars, lightsabers, um, all this weird. Totally alien to her. Very alien to her, yeah. She doesn't really know what's going on. So she's quite an interesting character because she is, you know, quite, she's quite innocent and quite naive. Um, doesn't really know much about films. And so quite interesting to see her sort of thrown in at the deep end with all these geeks, really. Playing the part of Lizzie, we have Helen Pawson. Um, and Helen was someone who came aboard quite late. late 
Yeah, we're really late into it because we had to recast the part of Lizzie. Um, so Helen, yeah, joined us quite late and was someone again that we'd seen a lot of her stuff, you know, short films and films that she'd done, and we're really impressed. Um, and we were quite interested to see how she'd do with a sort of comedy because a lot of the stuff we've seen had been quite serious. But I think Helen herself, when I met, met her, was quite interested in doing something that was, you know, sort of comedy based. And um, so, yeah, in terms of the character, Lizzie, I think Helen is perfect Spot for it. Person. Yeah, very good. Um, so I think Helen sort of has that. She has that quite um, innocent. innocent, like, you know, ne girl next door sort of type quality about her. And she's also, she plays a part really well because I think Helen, she does come across as quite, uh, you know, with the character of Lizzie, she comes across quite innocent and naive. But um, but I think she's, Helen's like, sort of so approachable and so nice that you can easily sort of know that even though Jim, you look at Helen and you think, oh, she, you know, she's very pretty and she's so, you think so out of every, everyone's league. But I think the fact that she's very... Um, She's very approachable. That's the kind of thing we wanted to Lizzie. Because Lizzie's a new girl. She's very pretty. She comes in. But you want it to be approachable as well because you want to feel like, you know, that she can talk to the guys and the guys feel like they might have a chance with her. Whether whether or not they do is another matter. Another matter. Next up, we've got Holes. 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 Next up, we've got the character of Holes. Um, Holes is a strange, strange character. Very strange, I think. yes. Yeah, a bit of weird. Um, speaking like to Mike Justice, who has obviously been in a film oh, Door to Door we did a while back and sort of helped a lot looking through the script and everything. He said that, you know, he did say to me after reading the last draft of the script, well, I think it was actually a second script because there's a few more little holes, uh, twists and turns oh, in that one. And he said, like, I'm interested to see you get to play the character Holes because that is one messed up character. So I think that kind of sums him up. He's like basically the king of the geeks, you know, he's an absolute nerd. Um, but I think, uh, you know, he's kind of a sweet guy, really. I think his heart's in the right oh, place, the but right he's just a bit of a absolute massive geek. And he also has a lot of, you have a lot of fun with the character, because obviously he plays well off Jim, because Jim's a geek, but not the sort of same not standard, league, not in the same sort of league as Holes. No. And then you've got Dave as well, who's not really a geek at all, so there's quite a nice dynamic with the cast. So playing playing the part of Holes is Dave Firth. Um, where do we get Dave Firth from? You can tell us a bit about that. I'll do it um, off the uh, Northern Actors database. Good Northern so, Actors database, Northern okay. Actors so we found him off there. And um, so he came in for the part of Holes, um, which originally we were sort of hoping that Carl Schofield, who we'll talk about in a little bit, was going to play, but that didn't happen. So, um, yeah, he came through part of Holes, and again, really good in the audition. He auditioned the same day as uh, Tony auditioned as well, and uh, both quite good together. And just... Really, in, really sort of interesting take on Holes. Very geeky, but I think there's so much comedy in Dave's performance. It's brilliant, and that's what I like about it. It's all the little touches. You know, when we filmed it, and you've got the um, the parts of the bit where the lifting of the Academy Awards statue, oh, right, or yeah. the bit where they're making doing the Star Wars Imperial March, and just little bits like that where I think it, it, it's in his reactions that I think it's, nice a, into it's, it's, it's comedy gold. I think yeah, that character yeah. is comedy gold, and I think there's a lot of funny stuff that's going to come from that character. Yeah. 